don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the BK Cops 360 here, and I've got some some good news for you guys. Now, in case you guys didn't already know, if you've got an SLI setup, so either you have like a dual GPU card, such as a 295X2 or a 690, or you have uh, two GPUs in SLI, such as two GTX 980s or two 290Xs, then I've got some great news for you guys because Robert Hallock from AMD pretty much came out and said, look, the general consensus is that an 8GB dual GPU card is really 4GB. And he goes on to say that, look, that's not true at all, okay? That's not true at all. Now, of course, I can't confirm whether he's talking specifically about dual GPU cards, such as the 295X2, or if he's specifically talking about... Uh, or if, or if he's specifically talking about them by himself and he's not including like two 290Xs or two 280Xs or two GTX 980s or whatever. Uh, regardless, I think he's he's saying both because that would make sense because having two 680s is the same as a GTX 690 anyway. But yeah, getting back to the point, he's pretty much gone and said that, look, that general consensus is not true at all. And he said that with low-level APIs such as Mantle and of course, consequently, uh, DirectX 12, which is supposed to be coming out very soon with Windows 10, I believe, then look, if developers optimize the game well, if they put the hard yards in and they optimize the game, they optimize this ability, then we will be able to see VRAM on dual GPU cards be combined. Now, of course, at the moment, if you have a dual GPU card or you have cards in SLI, you essentially have half of what is advertised. If you've got an, an 8 gig 295X2, you pretty much have 4 gigs of VRAM because the GPU or the, the computer is pretty much sending uh, the frame and the frame needs to be processed by both uh, both GPUs obviously so it's kind of like a bottleneck if you get what I mean that's not the best way to explain it in fact I'm not really sure if that's the way the process actually occurs but it's something along those lines where both dual, both GPUs need to receive the information and hence it's your limiting your VRAM because um, uh, how can I say the frame is being sent to both GPUs at the same time I guess so if you've got things happening simultaneously, then you're still losing um, like the textures. Uh, uh, once again, I'm not an expert on it, so I'm just going to shut the fuck up now. But it's something along those lines. So regardless, he's pretty much gone out and said, look, mate, if they develop it, if they optimize it properly, that won't be an issue in the future. A 295X2 will truly be 8 gigabytes. A GTX 690 will truly be 4 gigabytes. So yeah, that's... That's fucking sick. So does that mean, look, if I want to get a GTX Titan and I slap him in SLI, does that make 12 gigabytes of VRAM? <clears throat> Who knows, man? The future's looking bright. And the way Robert Halk is saying it, he's the way he uses Mantle, it seems like he's, he's making it sound like AMD plans on doing something like this in the future. So if we see AMD, like the pioneers, if we see them pioneer this technology, we see them bring this out for example how can i put this in maybe one of the gaming evolve titles of course they're not the developers but maybe they're able to push one of the developers to do this first for a mental optimized game then maybe we could see some widespread uh adaptation maybe devs will say fuck we need to do this all the time now of course it's not going to be easy to do i'm sure for the developers but yeah, I guess we'll see. The DirectX 12 and Mantle, man, these are the two APIs that are going to be massive. Of course, AMD doesn't really care if Mantle doesn't go that well. They said from the start that their main purpose of Mantle was to push low-level APIs on the PC. And of course, DirectX 12 came out. DirectX 12 was obviously not a direct exam, uh, direct consequence of Mantle, sorry. But, you know, you get the point. So as long as fucking PC gaming as a whole is great and it's progressing and we get that on low level APIs then we're going to see a lot a repeat a lot of some good shit come to the PC platform and this is just one of them so anyway guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I guess I'll see you later